Amen. We bless the Lord. I thank God. We're in First Samuel chapter 3. Amen. Praise God. And I bless the Lord. I thank God for his word. And we just want to put it in your hearing. Amen. The word of God says, And the child Samuel, he ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Amen. There was no open vision. In other words, God didn't reveal himself much in those days because of the rebellion and because of sin that was taking place. And even as the word of God, it goes on to say that Eli's eyes, they were getting so weak that he was almost blind. And one night when he went to his room to go to bed, it says, and ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. Now, I want to put this in your hearing to understand, praise God, even from just that small passage that we just read in Exodus chapter 27, verse 20 through 21. And this is the King James Version. This was the word of the Lord. Amen. It said, and you shall command the children of Israel that bring you pure oil, of uh, pressed olives for the light to cause the lamp to burn continually in the tabernacle of meeting outside of the veil, which is before the ark of the testimony. Amen. Aaron and his sons, they were to tend it from evening until morning before the Lord. Amen. In other words, it shall be a statue forever to their generations on behalf of the children of Israel. So what it was, the priests, they were to tend the lamps, making sure that the lamps had oil to burn and that their wicks were trimmed so that the lamp would never go out, especially during the night. But even as we just read in the word of the Lord, amen, and even if you go back and read, praise God, in 1 Samuel, amen, verse 3, praise God, what was taking place. But in verse 4, the Bible says this, that the Lord called Samuel, and Samuel answered, here I am, here I am. Samuel thought that Eli was calling him, so he ran to Eli, and he said, here I am, you called me. But Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel went back to bed. And again, the Lord called Samuel again. And again, Samuel ran to Eli and he said, here I am. You called me. And Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. And Samuel, he did not yet know, praise God, the Lord, because the Lord had not spoken directly to him before. So this is why he kept running to Samuel. So in the word of God, it says, and the Lord called Samuel again. And the third time, amen, he arose and he went to Eli and said, here I am, for thou did call me. And Eli, he perceived, amen, he was able to discern and understand that the Lord was calling, amen, him. In the word of the Lord, this is what Eli said. Eli said to Samuel, go, lie down, and it shall be, if he calls thee, thou shalt say, speak, Lord, for thy servant here. So Samuel, he went and he laid down in his place. And the Bible says, and the Lord came and stood and called as other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, speak, for thy servant heareth. And in the word of God, the Lord said to Samuel, before Behold, I would uh, do a thing, praise God, in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that hear it shall tingle. In that day, I will perform against Eli all the things which I've spoken concerning his house. When I began, I will also make an end. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever, the iniqu- uh, will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth, because his sons made themselves vow and he restrained them not. And therefore, I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offerings forever. Amen. Now listen, I just want to interject something right here because in 1 Samuel 2, verse 27 through 36, this would remember that the man of God who came to Samuel, amen, came with warning. And I believe, praise God, with everything in me, warning always comes before destruction. Warning comes before destruction. Every mother on this line, y'all know good what I'm talking about as well in the natural. Amen. We get warned. All right now. You know, even my mom. All right. Don't make me, you know, we get warnings. And here I believe, praise God, that even in 1 Samuel 2, 27 through 20, uh, 36, praise God, that there was a warning. But now, here it is, praise God, it's too late. The opportunity for repentance has passed, and now judgment, the judgment is sealed. 
But even, praise God, I just want to interject even here because I understand that there are others that will be hearing this message. And I'm speaking to you. Praise God. Don't wait too late when you hear the voice of God, that God is calling you. The time is now to repent. The time is now that even as the word of the Lord in 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Bible says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us work. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. To understand, listen, the Lord, he does not delay. Amen. And as though he's not able, praise God, to act or do. And he's not slow concerning whatever his word is. But God is patient. He's patient towards us. He's not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come into repentance to receive him as Lord and Savior. And still the word of God. Listen, when you hear the word of God, you hear God when he's tapping on your heart. I pray in Jesus' name that you'll open that door and let him come in. Thank you, Lord God. Coming back to the word of the Lord, praise God, in Samuel, first, uh, first Samuel 3, verse 15, the Bible says in Samuel, he lay, praise God, until the morning, and he opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And then Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. And he answered, here I am. Listen, Samuel was afraid. He was afraid to tell Eli what, he, what, uh, what had been given unto him. But this is what was said to him from Eli. And he said, what is the thing that the Lord has said unto thee? And he said, I pray thee, hide not from me. Amen. Oh God, do, do so to you. And more also, if thou hide anything from me and all the things that he has said to thee. And so the Bible tells us, praise God, that Samuel told him everything. Amen. He didn't hide anything from him. And he said, it is, the, it, it is the Lord. This was Eli's reply. And he said, let him do what seems good to him. And the word of God let us know, praise God, that Samuel, he grew. And as the grew in the Lord, praise God, was with him. And he did not let not one word, whatever Samuel spoke, whatever Samuel said, it didn't fall to the ground. In other words, praise God to understand God was with Samuel. God was using him. Yes, he was young, but God was using him. Praise God. And the Bible says that all Israel from Dan, even to Beersheba, they knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet. Praise God of the Lord. And the Lord appeared. Amen. Again in shallow for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel. Amen. In shallow by the word of the Lord. I thank God for the word and I bless God. Praise God still again even as we have mentioned we've been here for a minute. Amen. Praise God sharing this word and understanding amen from the very beginning from 1 Samuel. We're still trying to get to and we will get there to understand how did that ark, how did the ark of the covenant wind up in the hands of the Philistines. But understand we had to go back, praise God, into the word of the Lord and find out, amen, what took place. We went back praise God, 1 Samuel chapter 1 where we realized, praise God, Penina, Penina, Elkanah had two wives, Penina and Hannah. And here it was, Penina had children, Hannah didn't. And Hannah, she was so grieved in her spirit because Penina would torment her about that very fact. But I thank God, praise God, because still to understand, sometimes when people do things to you, listen, don't despise it because it's pushing you into a place. It pushes us sometimes, praise God, on our knees. And I thank God because that's what it did for Hannah. It pushed her into the presence of God. And I tell you right now, when she prayed and asked God for that son, this is the son, Samuel. She prayed the answer. She prayed, thank you, Lord God. She prayed for Samuel. And even as she made that promise, God, if you bless me with a, a man, I will give him back to you. And she kept her vow. She kept her vow in God. Thank you, Lord God. I thank God, even as the word of the Lord that we read to understand vision, praise God, they, they weren't hearing from God. God was upset about the sin, what was taking place, and you better believe that God is upset even now about things that's taking place in our world, in this land. But God is calling, praise God, his sons, his daughters. God is calling those that will stand up, those, praise God, that will speak and say what thus saith the Lord. And even to understand, praise God, he's looking for warriors, prayer warriors, those that will pray, those that will bombard heaven in Jesus' name. If my people, that's the word of God, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves, if we pray, 
seek his face. That's the word of God. We turn from our wicked ways. The Bible says, then we'll hear from heaven. And God said, I'll heal the land. Thank you, Lord God. I believe the word of God. I believe God's word because it's his word. This is God speaking his word and we bless God for his word. I thank God this morning in the mighty name of Jesus and our prayer. Amen. And speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, in Jesus name. That should be all about speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, in Jesus' name. Your servants are listening. We're hearing. Thank you, Lord God. We want to hear what thus says the Lord. We want to be able to open our mouth and declare in the name of Jesus wherever we are, wherever you are, whether it's on your job, whether it's in your home, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, in your in the ministry, in your churches, praise God, wherever you are, you still want to be able to speak what thus says the Lord. There are people that need to hear the word of God, need to hear and know, praise God, that God is God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you this morning and we praise God once again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for this day, Lord God, once again. This is the day, the day the Lord made and we're rejoicing in it and we're glad in it. That's the word of God. And we praise you, Father, because we've never seen this day. But Father, we thank you. You made it. You made it and because you made it, you said, and rejoice in it. And Father, we rejoice in you. We rejoice in our Savior. We rejoice and thank you, Lord God, in the strength of the Lord. We rejoice and thank you, Father, for him watching over us. Thank you, Lord God, a God who neither slumber nor sleep. We thank you for watching over us and waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for the active use of our limbs. We praise you and glorify you, Lord God. We got a mind, Father, to worship, a mind, Lord God, to to serve you. We thank you in Jesus' name. We praise you, Father. I thank you. You know what? It's the small things when we just stop for a moment and bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for that roof that's over our head. Thank you, Father, that we even had a place to lay our heads. We thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you for our families. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for being God. We bless you and we honor you, our Savior. We glorify you this morning in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Father, we praise you, we glorify you even now. We stand in awe, in awe, Lord God, of you and all of your power. We thank you because there's none like you. We thank you, Lord God, there is no rock like our God. There's none higher than you are. And we bless you, Lord God, and praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we come before your presence humble, we thank you, Lord God, that we've been given a privilege and honor to come boldly before your throne. But Father, we humble ourselves. In the name of Jesus, we thank you even now. In the mighty name of Jesus today, that Lord God, even as we praise and glorify you, lifting you up, we're thanking you, Lord God, above any and everything. No matter what circumstance, no matter what the situation that may arise in our lives, Father, you yet deserve the glory. You yet deserve our praise. You deserve our thank yous. You deserve the hallelujahs. You deserve the glory to God. You deserve it all, and Father, we give to you, our Savior, our God, this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. We praise and glorify you again for the very breath and air that we breathe. We thank you, Lord God, that we're able to even walk. Thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that you've given us ears to even hear. Hear, Lord God, and speak that which you would give us, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus today. We honor you, Lord God. We thank you even now as we look unto you, Father. Thank you for whatever opportunity to stay in Jesus' name. Whatever we face, Lord God, is still an opportunity, Father, for you to be glorified. We thank you, Lord God, is still knowing greater are you in us. Greater is he in you than he that's in the world. So, Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We praise you that there is no fear. We thank you, Lord God, because you've not given us to us the spirit of fear, but you gave us power. You gave us love. You gave us a sound mind. And we thank you, Lord God, this is what we're walking in. And we praise and glorify you, Lord God, that whatever we face today, we face it. Thank you, Lord God, with God Almighty. Thank you, Lord God, your presence in the name of Jesus. Your presence that brings 
Father, everything that we stand in need of. We thank you in Jesus' name today. We glorify you, Lord God, even as we have entered into your gates with thanksgiving and even into your courts with praise. We are thankful. We are thankful, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for guiding us. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you in Jesus' name for protecting us. You are our protector. We bless you and honor you, Lord God. You are our provider. You yet provided and making ways in Jesus' name. We bless you and honor you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we look to you, Lord God, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the author, the finisher, Father, even of our faith. We bless you and honor you right now in the name of Jesus because we're walking by faith and not by sight. We're not things that we see, but Father, we're standing on your word, your word, Lord God, in Jesus' name. We praise and glorify you because faith comes. It comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, and as we hear your word, Father, we thank you. We're going to do your word. We bless you and honor you in the day in Jesus' name. I thank you even now, Lord God, for your sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus, the anointing. Thank you, Lord God, the oil. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you anoint our heads today. We glorify you, Father, in the name of Jesus. You're giving us the ability to do. Thank you, Lord God, what needs to be done. Thank you for strength. Thank you, Lord God, even as we put on the full armor, we clothe ourselves, Lord God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. We bless you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. You are prepared for battle. In the name of Jesus, but still remembering this battle, whatever it is, is not your battle, it's the Lord's. Thank you, Father. And even as you allow God to rise, thank you, Lord God. His enemies are being scattered even now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless you, we honor you. We thank you now in Jesus' name. We yet praise you and glorify you, Father. We can't help but thank you for your favor. Thank you as you crown each and every one of us. Favor, favor, Lord God. We're blessed coming in, blessed going out. Thank you in Jesus' name. We praise you and glorify you that you made us the head and not the tail, above all and not beneath. We thank you, Lord God. We're walking in your anointing. We're walking in your favor. And we bless you today, Lord God. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for strength. Thank you now. In the name of Jesus, he said, let the weak say, say I'm strong. I'm strong in the Lord. Strong in the power of his might. We are strong in him. In the name of Jesus, it's nothing we do of ourselves. It's always God. It's always him in the name of Jesus. His strength, his might. In the name of Jesus, and this is why you can do all things. All things through him who give you the strength. Give you the ability in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we bless you. We honor you, Father. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. Even as we're looking up to you, Father, I thank you for comfort. Comforting, Lord God, the hearts, the minds, Lord God, in Jesus' name, our bereaved families cover, strengthen now in the name of Jesus. We look to you, Lord God. We praise you even now, Lord God. Give peace, peace in the name of Jesus. Your peace, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Your peace is not like the world. Peace is we thank you. We glorify you even now in the name of Jesus. Your peace, Lord God. Let them feel your tangible presence, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let them feel your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Draw families close together in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against the works of the enemy. Every plot, scheme, every plan of the enemy this morning in the name of Jesus. We overthrow those plots and schemes of the enemy. Every stronghold, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're looking to you even now. The sword of the Lord is against, thank you, Lord God, the enemy. And Father, I thank you still again as you're strengthening the family, strengthening families in the name of Jesus. We bless you and honor you, Lord God, still our children. Father, as we lift them up before you and we praise and glorify you, we decree and declare out of our mouth, they are who you say they are. We bless you, Lord God, in Jesus' 
Jesus' name. Again, we come against, Father, every spirit of confusion that's been released in this land. We pray, Lord God, and we speak your word. We declare your word over our children. In the name of Jesus, stop saying what the world is saying. We're speaking what God say. We're calling it, thank you, Father God, calling those things that be not in the name of Jesus as though they are. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that they are led of the Lord. They are taught of the Lord. Thank you in Jesus' name. They're walking in the fear of you, Father. We thank you in Jesus' name that even as we teach them, Lord God, teaching them your ways, we thank you, Lord God, for your word. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, the prayers of the righteous that yet avail much when you pray. When you pray, thank you, Lord God, not if, but when you pray and believe and trust in God that those prayers are being answered, those prayers in the mighty name of Jesus reaching where they are. We thank you, Lord God. We bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you for their salvation. We praise and glorify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for our children. Thank you, Lord God. Holy, 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 Lord God. You are a holy God and you require holiness. We pray in the name of Jesus every yoke, Lord God, being destroyed. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, loose, oh, God, loose, Lord God, every center. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold in the mighty matchless name of Jesus we give you praise we glorify you even now thank you Lord God in your mighty name thank you that you're yet raising I see that army God is raising up in the name of Jesus an army that will serve in the beauty of holiness that will worship God that will take a stand in the mighty name of Jesus remember you gotta see it before you see it thank you Lord God if you don't see it you never will see it. But I thank God I see that army. I see them in the name of Jesus, loving God, serving Him in the beauty of holiness. And Father, we give you praise. We give you glory now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray once again today in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, if you don't know God, I pray that even as you hear this word, that you will receive Him into your life. Receive God into your life. Accept Him as Lord and Savior. His arms are open wide. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we bless you. We honor you once again in the mighty bachelor's name of Jesus. Thank you for your sons. Thank you for your daughters. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. By the authority of your name, Father, we render every demonic spirit attack, Lord God, that will come against us, against our health, even our families, our finances in Jesus' name, still helpless, it's still powerless, inoperative, and still ineffective. We decree and declare the word of the Lord. God said in his word, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. I believe God's word in Jesus' name, and I thank God that even as we're standing on the word of God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you go in the love of God, go in the peace of God, but I pray in Jesus' name that you will say, speak, Lord, speak, Lord, we're hearing what you would say to us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for the word this morning, and I pray that God will restore, refill this woman of God. Amen. I pray that you have been inspired by the prayer and the word of God this morning. And I pray that you can have an awesome day. And remember the word of God as a woman continues to encourage us. All we, we got to put it in God's hand. Obey the word of God. Know that God got this. Amen. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fret. Don't you be discouraged. Amen. Quitting is not an option. Amen. Listen, as you go throughout your day, you got to do this. You got to encourage yourself. Be encouraged. Encourage somebody else. Amen. Speak a positive word over your life and somebody else's life. Amen. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you are more than a conqueror. You are an overcomer. Amen. You have been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And remember, live on purpose. Live with the purpose. Live the purpose driven life. I love encouraging y'all every morning. Praise God. And I love saying what I say. Amen. Because I want you to be encouraged. Amen. God bless you. We love you.